Hi everyone, welcome to the second section of this video. Today we're going to look at what a parent and a child process is in Linux. In our previous video, we've looked at what a process is. We've looked at how to view and list the processes in Linux, the number of processes that are also running on a Linux system. We've also looked at the process attributes. We've looked at the user, the PID, percentage, CPU. Okay. And a um, quick one, if you're going to be writing the RHC SC8 exam or the LFCS exam or the SUSE Linux exam, just scroll down to the end of this website and click on the exam practice questions, all right? I'm going to be dropping the link to the website in the description section below, so it's good to practice before you write the exam. And I'm also going to be updating the website from time to time with the exam practice questions, so it's good you subscribe to our news channel to our YouTube channel or to our newsletter, okay? Just as we humans give birth, our process also gives birth, but not to a boy or a, or a girl, all right? Um, a process can run as one process or also spawn or initiate other processes, all right? So the other spawned processes are sequel to the parent process, all right? And the other spawned processes that are sequel to the parent process are child processes. So while the processes that spawns or initiate the other processes are parent processes. So a um, parent gives birth to a child, all right? And our parent processes to usually have a parent process ID. And the parent process, um, the PPID, which is the parent process ID field, was what we saw when we used the standard the ps ef all right to check all the running processes on the system so let's see what a parent and child processes looks like so if i use the command ps fax for example you can see um the tree like process let me just scroll to the top so for example you can see this process okay and then you can see this one that branches out. Okay, this is a very good example. You can see this one branching out to all of these. So this process, all right, is going to be a parent process for all of these processes, all right? So these are child processes, or can I use the word children processes? <laughs> so these are, this is a child process, all right, to this parent process why this is a parent process to this child processes okay let me look for um, this process for example this um, 233 so to get the parent process ID all right um, we can just use the command let me just copy this and see if, how we can get the parent process ID so we can just use the command ps all right i think o id equals to the oops i didn't copy that okay let me just pick um, one here let me pick this let me pick this three two seven nine so i'm just going to use three two seven nine so you can see the parent process ID of this process, all right? So these are the uh, parent process IDs. So if I queue this process, okay, or I queue here or here, then this process will also die. Okay, so if you kill a parent process, the child process will die. And if you kill a child process, the parent process will not die. As we go on, we'll look at how to kill processes in Linux. To view a um, process tree, you use the command ps tree. All right, you'll be able to see the process tree. Okay. So, how do you find a specific running process in Linux? All right. So, if you don't want to see all the running processes, you can just view. Or see a specific running process and to see a specific running process you can pipe the command to the grep utility one thing you must know that one thing you must know is that every processes have a process ID as I've always said so if a process is running 
the process ID is also associated to the process automatically. So for example, to see the process ID of the HTTPD process, use the command ps ef right then you grab this to httpd don't forget i said this is the standard syntax you can either use aux which is the bsd syntax whichever one you like and whichever one that is preferable for you both will work they are just different syntaxes so all right so you can see the process id of the httpd process to see the process ID of the VSFTPD process, you can just follow the same approach, VSFTPD. All right, so you can see the process ID of the VSFTPD process. And um, you can also use the command PID of, for example, PID of VSFTPD. It will show you the um, process ID of this process or service, okay? In the next video, we're going to look at how to kill a process in Linux. We're also going to look at um, how to do with a job in Linux. Alright, so thank you for watching. Please subscribe to this channel and bye for now.